Vikings fans, Vikings fans, Vikings fans, man. We got to talk about it. First of all, man, RAP want to give a shout out to Good Morning Football because they always put out great content, man. You know, you got your boy Kyle there and all this, and they they always boost up the Minnesota Vikings. They always have Vikings players on, so we got to give them a shout out, man. But specifically, man, I want to give a shout out to Jamie Erdahl, man. Now, I know there's a thing out there. She's a Minnesota native, so she's a Minnesota fan, Minnesota Vikings fan, and people are saying, like, the bombs that she dropped today kind of don't make sense because, you know, she's biased because she's a Minnesota fan. What? No, it makes all the sense. That should mean that it even makes more sense because she's a Minnesota Vikings fan. And guess what? That means she's just sick and tired of being sick and tired, just like me and you are sick and tired of being sick and tired. It is what it is, man. They dropped some bombs today. Now, we're going to read some of these things. Now, first of all, this was the post that they posted on Twitter. They said, how can you create different outcome if you don't change what is getting you to the same position every single year question mark you feel me like when i seen this video this morning man like it just made me feel good inside because it's like this you know national tv now we know they've been bashing Kirk cousins for the most part nobody believes in him everybody thinks he's you know just a, a regular quarterback good not great can get you game he can win you games in the regular season but will never get you over that hump you know what i mean and like everybody else that don't believe that thinks that everybody that believes that is crazy right like we're there we're all blind to the fact like they have super secret evidence evidence that we just don't get a hold of you know what i mean it is what it is but this is the thing man she also advocated for lamar jackson okay like let me see if i can find what she exactly said about lamar jackson um she said be the nfc north champs all you want minnesota vikings um, can you make it to a NFC title game? Can you make it to a Super Bowl? Can you not lose in the first round of the playoffs again? Like those are big questions to ask. Why? Because that's the narrative of the Minnesota Vikings with Kirk Cousins as the quarterback. You feel me? Like that's just what's been happening. So it makes all the sense that she's going to ask questions like that. OK, now let's talk about how she also advocated for Lamar Jackson, saying that she would agree that Lamar Jackson would put us over the hump. I agree with that. You know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still perfectly fine with going in the draft and getting our guy. And I think I like Anthony Richardson the most because I feel like. We're obviously not going to get Bryce Young. We're not going to get C.J. Stroud. They're probably going to go one and two. But if we can trade up, you trade up to get Anthony Richardson, not Will Levis. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to be happy with whatever decision KOC makes. But back to Miss Jamie Erdahl. She said the Vikings have the wide receiver. They have the draft picks. If they send two draft picks to Baltimore Ravens and receive Lamar Jackson, that is finally a edge of quarterback, a dynamic quarterback, because this Kirk Cousins experience, while statistically is beautiful like that's the thing too while statistically is beautiful and while it earned you a division championship in the regular season it is not pushing you over the edge the way you think it needs to do in the postseason man let's give a big round of applause to goddamn jamie erdahl man that's my type of gal right there you hear me like, this is the stuff that needs to be heard, man. You know what I mean? And, like, as Vikings fans, we're frustrated. That's just what it is. Like, now we have Vikings natives, Minnesota natives and Vikings fans going on national TV and releasing their frustration. Man, you see what this is causing? You see what this is causing? It's time to move on. And I'm going to tell you right now, the good thing, man, we had a live last night. It was fun. You know I mean, we talked about a lot during the live. And the good thing is this, man. I'm so glad that. We're not the one making the absolute indecision. You know what I mean? And I am glad that our GM and our head coach are making a good decision right now, as it seems that they are not locking Kirk Cousins into the future. They are saying we're going to play this year and it is still possible that we might even move off of you before the season starts. The chance is still there. If the price is right, man, I think they're going to bite. You hear me? And now we all can also agree, like most Vikings fans every year, we talk about the quarterbacks coming in the draft, but realistically, we knew the past two years it wasn't happening. It was just giving you that fuzzy feeling inside just to at least think about it. But this year, I think it's serious. You know what I mean? I think it's serious. You feel me? And this is the thing. This platform right here, Good Morning Football, they do not hate Kirk Cousins. They talk about Kirk Cousins 
in a good way all the time, especially Kyle Brandt. You know, he loves, that's his best friend. You feel me? And then you got Peter. He likes Kirk Cousins as well. But, you know, and I've heard Jamie say good things about Kirk Cousins too last year. Now, this is the thing. She's just sick of it. After that Giants game, we're fed up, bro. And I agree with her, man. She dropped a bomb on him. You know, she dropped a bomb on Kirk baby you feel me like that just is what it is man you know what i mean and y'all let me know how y'all feel man do you think what she said was right was it right for her to go on national tv and just call it for what it is i say yeah you know what i mean this is what we need we need more people to go and call it for what it is man like he is not a championship type quarterback it's time to move on and find our guy so we can finally push to getting a super bowl and getting over that hump you got to take a chance you know, for the ones that want to keep Kirk, how will you ever know? You know what I mean? You won't because you'll want to keep holding on to Kirk. No, it's time to move on and let's make this power move in the NFL draft this year right here. Let's go get Anthony Richardson because that's who I want. Hey, I appreciate y'all tapping in. Holla at your boy. Shout out Jamie, baby. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear him talking, but they ain't going to do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toes with you I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm touring We ain't taking no losses, we winning Undefeated, check the percentage 